If I am particularly attached to the idea of involving young people with the OSC, this is because I regard it as a key task of politics to provide good prospects for the generations after us. Our project, Youth for Security and Cooperation in Europe, brings together 57 young people from all participating states. These people represent youth rather than any country. This is why we call them youth ambassadors. This youth ambassador will simulate a whole OSC negotiation cycle. This will give them the opportunity to familiarize themselves with the OSC, with its, its mechanics and its topics, but it will also give us, the government, an opportunity to learn more about the needs and expectations of the younger generation. Our youth ambassadors are going to negotiate a youth action plan in the coming months in which they formulate recommendations for the OSCE and its participating states. They will collectively present their action plan at the Ministerial Council in Basel. I think we should all look forward to hearing what they have to say and what they expect from us from the OSCE. It is my hope that the proposal of these young people will serve as an inspiration for the OSC to work out its own youth action plan. Serbia and Switzerland agreed to put down the objective of an OSC youth action plan in the joint work plan for both years. The Swiss chairmanship would like to thank our Serbian colleagues for the excellent cooperation on this youth project as on many other projects. Ladies and gentlemen, before I conclude, I wish to briefly give the floor, give some time to three of these youth ambassadors. All youth ambassadors are currently conducting their negotiation next door, so I invited the three persons from the Troika countries to join us today. Since the drafting of a youth action plan has, just, has only just begun, our three guests cannot speak on behalf of all youth ambassadors at this stage. I have therefore asked them to briefly share their views on any issues that is important to them and tell us what they expect, what they expect from an organization like the OSCE. Let me remind you that our three speakers represent youth rather than the country they come from. And I would now ask Jeremy from Switzerland and after him Milena from Serbia and then Olena from Ukraine to kindly take the floor. Dear Excellencies, it is a pleasure to be here today with all of you and to take part in the OSC model program. I'm especially honored as my country, Serbia, chairmanship uh, in 2015, together with the Swiss chairmanship, initiated this youth project, which will hopefully foster in a long-term culture of participation of young people in decision-making processes. Young people are precious resources in all of our countries, and without being falsely modest, I'm sure that our voices will contribute significantly through this initiative of an OSC model in bringing useful perspectives to OSC goals and consequently to inclusive and democratic development of our societies. Young people are often underrepresented and not taken seriously. But let us recall that 15-year-old Louis Bray created the Bray writing system under third inventions of telephone by Bell and Esperanto by Zamanhof. Let us recall that Niels Bohr published his theory of the atom at 28. And there are many more great people throughout history that made their marks in various areas younger than 30. Mary Shelley, John of Arc, Michelangelo, Gary Kasparov, James Joyce, Mozart, Alexander the Great, Mark Zuckerberg, and most recent Pakistani spokesgirl for women's right to education, Malala. Thanks to OSC for recognizing that youth can make a difference and for launching this opportunity that all of us active leaders will, I'm certain, justify. <laughs>